Hello, Reckoning 7, and welcome back to Combat Mission Black Sea in the charge of the Heavy Brigade scenario. Um, and this is into episode 3, where I had thought we were moving into the kind of mop up and close out phase, but at the tail end of the last episode, we got some new contacts of potentially some more uh, Russian tanks, probably 90s, as well as some more BMPs and associated infantry just on the edge of the map. So it would seem our work is not quite done. Now, I did do some tweaks in between episodes, just so we're set up for this one. I did get one suggestion from Augustino Ventura to utilise a precision strike on the T-90 in the church, or beside the church, which uh, is not something uh, I've used very often, to be honest, precision missions, having uh, not spent a great deal of time in either um, Strike Force 2 or Shock Force 2 even, sorry, or Black Sea. So I thought we'd give that a go. So I have, uh, through my HQ unit here, um, oh, actually, I maybe didn't com commit it. So, in which case, I'm going to enlist that now. Use our paladins here, and we're going to do a precision strike, or we're going to try a precision strike against uh, this T90 here. And we'll use all three rounds, why not? Hit precision, and off we go. Should Five minutes, no order. problem at all. I've all. I have also asked the UAV to move slightly, it's just going to centre itself slightly further back, but with it while well keeping the church and that T90 within its uh, view. With our forces on this right hand side, so it's our uh, infantry platoon or mechanised platoon as well as a couple of supporting uh, tanks. Uh, I just do a bit of a reshuffle, so we were taking the um, Abrams here and one of the infantry platoons who were poised to go and uh, secure the objective. Obviously we can't secure this with this T-90 staring down the road. Just take a position in this wooded area. Uh, the position here of T-90 on the hill is going to give it a reasonable line of fire. If I can come down and have a look. Into uh, into the kind of back area in the fields behind, just in case we do see some more reinforcements appear over here, uh, so we can kind of pick them off as they turn up. Meanwhile, we'll keep our forward elements uh, kind of who are doing a bit of scouting. We're just going to hold them where they are. Again, we'll see if any more spots do appear. Our watch platoons. This first squad um, is just finishing up the body aid of the two downed servicemen, and I'll let them finish before moving them out. Meanwhile, we've got our. Uh, squad of Abrams and we've got currently split up between we've got two in the left and two in the centre so I'm going to reposition these two in the centre so we're kind of together as a as a squad uh, and then we'll reposition these second platoon tanks to hold this position in the centre for us. Not that I'm expecting them to see too much uh, but it will give us at least a force we can push directly up the centre if we see an opportunity for it. Out on the flank, flank with these Abrams, we did get a laser contact with this uh, chap towards the end of the last one, which is why he's popped smoke. I'm hoping to use the cover of the smoke just to get in behind this uh, farmhouse, which will give us some views kind of down the valley, while protecting us from anything ranging up along these, this hillside. I'm a little more concerned by our friend in the tree line here, as he could potentially be picked off by some spots from up here. Um, and I think I'm actually going to maybe pull him back so he's got a better better view of anything coming across his sightline. Do you know what? Let's do that. Just going to reverse slightly and then have him face over in this direction. Uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to bring in the other two tanks essentially to take hull down positions just on this ridge line. Again, just to have a bit of a dominate position over this uh, reverse slope here. That's not a reverse slope, over this slope here. And likewise, I'm going to pull back our B-fits just slightly, uh, just so we're in a bit of a safer position, and if you do spot anything you don't like, uh, we can quickly reverse out of sight. And that's where we're at. So uh, I don't expect much to happen on this side for this minute, so let's maybe kick things off sitting here, and again, see if we get any resolution on what side. See, our tanks are, are blocking some of the infantry. Flight overkill, and we've got our 155s just positions with this time. Okay, so it has resolved to a BMP, although it has quickly vanished. Oh, this could be dangerous. A couple of laser warnings. Nothing... Oh, I was saying nothing's happened so far. Not entirely true. We'll unpack that in a moment. But nothing quite a little bit of revenge. I'm a little bit nervous that he has stopped. I'm going to see what that's about in a moment. Okay, laser warning, pop smoke reverse. Yeah, this area's getting a little bit hot. That was quite a bit of an exposed position. 
I have no worries with him pulling out of it. Okay. Let's unpick some of that. Actually, before we do that, what's going on here, my friend? I mean, your tracks are a little bit damaged, but no... I don't know why you have stopped. I'll be able to look at that when we get into command, zone, command phase. Right, first off. So it does look like our um, Bradley over here, which was in our most advanced position and had uh, poked his head through the trees to help alleviate any remaining infantry within this little village, a cluster of houses. Potentially he picks up a spot from, okay, tanking that tree line. And that's all she wrote. Now thankfully obviously the infantry has already been dismounted and so we do lose uh, just one crew member. And of course the vehicle. But not the underworld, not the greatest loss of life. And then we also get an immediate response in the centre here. Or on the left hand flank I should say. So this is more BMPs. So I'm assuming there's going to be what, three of these? Hopefully this is full of infantry. Oh, that looks great. And then we're seeing another tank uh, platoon, so again, maybe four. Ah, they pop smoke as well. Okay. I was wondering why we didn't take a shot then, but it looks like everyone, everyone is popping smoke quite liberally. Which makes sense. It's a good route to survive. All right. So let's go back and command phase. So you, I do want you to wear, not stay here. But given that they seem to be pushing down this avenue, I'm actually tempted to try and move you maybe forward to say kind of, I don't even something like this position initially. Because we're okay on the flank for just now, although it's not, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to leave you here, it's a little exposed, and I'd rather you eventually made it kind of towards this position, but then that's also quite exposed. Mm, it is a uh, somewhat of a bold move. The other option I have, of course, would just be to pull back and wait for the reinforcements and progress a little bit more en masse. Which may be the safer way to do things. But that doesn't quite, that doesn't sound as fun. How is my repositioning going? They're not too far away. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna advance them up to here. I think this smoke is probably gonna prevent things coming forward. Uh, and I, actually, ideally, if they drive themselves out of smoking at spot, that's great. But let's position ourselves there, meanwhile. Obviously, you got nervous about a laser warning, which makes sense. Again, I would like you positioned. Let's just have you come forward again to take advantage of the spotting. Because our spotting should be pretty darn good. It's still it's half five in the morning, so it still is pretty dark. So I've got I've got the light mode on. So see if I turn it off. Yeah, that's going to make an impact. And ideally, as we pick these things off, it's going to strengthen ours and limit theirs. Uh, I'll keep my beef fist back for a little bit now. He can't do very much against hard targets anyway. You guys seem to have all repositioned without incident, which is good. I'm going to get out uh, this squad. I'll probably break off just a team, stick them a little bit forward to act as scouts and see where we end up from there. Okay, let's keep pushing forward as I blether too much. It's kind of a quick pause, actually. If I'm going to do it, let's do it from this side. Although I suspect this uh, turn, minute, whatever you want to call it, it's probably going to be so bogged down in smoke, not a whole lot's going to happen. Well, the potential I could have done is rather than use the UAV to conduct a precision strike against this T90, would be to have re uh, adjusted the mission to move it over in this direction. I think we're here, we're going to get a fight. Ooh, okay, good, good target choice, my man. So we do know there's two BMPs in this wood line, probably with friends. And 
and depending on where they go, I may want to utilize my mortars to just start hitting this position. If we don't see them reappear. I'll have to check out what that fight was about. Alright. Right. First we shall unpack. Oh, it's not too much to unpack. We can have a look at this. Now I was, I'm not going to lie, I was worried here when he came forward and spotted both that we'll see if he got the BMP he may have engaged that first. But no, he spotted the tank first. And just didn't quite have enough to take the BMP as well. Beautiful. Yeah, it's modern warfare tanks. It's, uh, definitely feels about just making the spot. Not much missing. Not much survivability. And the other bit was just in the last five seconds. Is it you? I've lost my church. Here's my church. Or do you have sight of this tank? You guys can see each other. A tiny little keyhole. Speaking of spots, that was a miss. Okay. I I want to see how this precision strike goes. I also don't think your chance of hitting is very high here, so I will pull back. Is there anyone else that can see you? No, that's fine. Okay, let's go into command phase. I'm just going to have you retreat slightly. And we'll see if we can't take care of that with our precision munitions. Meanwhile, hang on. You may have caught a glimpse of the uh, tank as well. Don't worry, you're safe, you can stop reversing. I was probably just cutting across this ridge line which we saw with the bee fist earlier. I was maybe just expecting the smoke to hang around for um well longer than it did. Right, you guys you can come up to here. I think this is a I mean it's a reasonable list position <laughs> if the smoke clears. Uh, I'm going to get you to reposition slightly so you're more focused with uh, with BMPs emerging from this tree line rather than anyone in this field behind. We've got other forces to deal with that. And then I would very much like to check out my UAV and see what it can see. Now can I order both missions at once? No. That's a shame. We've still got three minutes I think on um, on the uh, precision strike. And I don't think, well, you might be able to call in some some rounds eventually, but I don't think any of my other spotters, oh, my other spotter died, that's right. So he's not going to do much use to me. Okay, we'll have to hold off on, then on that mortar barrage. Doesn't look like they have any other forces on this side of the map, which is good. And have you guys finished our little buddy aid? Yes. Good job. No, you didn't pick up the uh, javelin. That's okay. Alright, you can mount up and we'll get you moved out. And let's get a scout team off you guys. Uh, where am I? Scout team. Thank you very much. Can you please move yourselves forward to see here? One thing I'm going to tell you to do, or you shouldn't engage uh, armor anyway, because you don't have any anti-armor anti stuff, anti-tank stuff. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Like being here, so he should get eyes on them once he repositions himself. Fire 
I'll need to check who he's shooting at. Hopefully not causing any damage. I had the fire mission confirmed. This should be a dead BMP. There goes one, and there goes the second. That almost looked like a twofer. Oh, and a... <laughs> Just giving our tank some veterancy pretty easily there. <laughs> Just like that, the kind of counterattack fails into almost nothing. So we had our, our Abrams here repositioning, looking on the valley where we thought they were going to come out and dancing through. And in fact, they're just sitting. There. So he hits one. Do they both get knocked out, or is this already already knocked out? This is currently okay. I think this just gets knocked out by the blast from the first one. So that was a uh, two birds with one stone. Nicely done, my friend. Efficient at use of ammo. I mean, unfortunately for the Russians, we've got a T90 coming up to support. Nice sight on target. No idea what hit it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now you're just mowing down uh, servicemen. Excellent. Maybe not so excellent, it's what was happening over here. Okay, now you were asked to reverse. Which you did. Okay, so who or what are you shooting at? Maybe nothing. And what? What was that? Hope that wasn't our precision strike because that was uh, nowhere close to anything. I don't know what that was. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and we're just engaged with small arms fire, some grenades, etc. Against, I believe it's an HQ unit in this building. Okay, so that's two more knocked out tanks, three BMPs, hopefully some infantry to boot. Uh, so that's the wrong one. Let's have a look at you still. Was that that was it? Was it that was your precision strike attempt? Huh. That seems uh, woefully inadequate. Now we've seen a couple of guys heading towards this tree line. They're probably not in a great condition, but we could always uh, follow them up with a little bit of mortar fire since we've got the rounds. We might as well make them have a pretty bad day. Uh, let's just... What? What do you mean no line of sight? Well, that's just simply not true. You have the drone. Oh, you claim to not be delivering this. So, okay, I may have messed this up because I was moving the drone, so you, I might not be getting live fire f until uh, it's in position. Maybe that's what's telling me. Okay, maybe we'll try the precision strike again, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to try and give it a go, make it work. We've got a little bit of time on our hands.
Okay, so we're just going to run through next minute. We'll let our um, drone get in position. Looks like there's one more active tank. Oh no, there it comes. There it comes. Me of little faith. Nice hits, but shrugged it off. Reactive armor. Era doing its job there. So I think I'm, I'm just going to bring an Abrams round to flank it. Let's not overcomplicate the problem. All right, so we've got just taking care of those poor infantrymen. We've got a Abrams truck, not an Abrams T90, trucking its way down the centre here, which I, we haven't got a view of yet, although. Hopefully he will eventually appear in one of these guys' fields of view. Here we go. We get first swap. We get first shot. We get the kill. Nice. Okay. So it is three more dead tanks. So there's potentially one more out there somewhere. Ha! I guess we'll find out in a minute. But we get a Russian army surrender and a US total victory. So we lost four men killed, two men wounded. So six losses overall. And on the Russian side, 80 dead and 13 wounded. Uh, as well as uh, 12 tanks and 6 BMPs for a, for a cost of one Bradley. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a nice, healthy rate of return. Always good. Uh, do you know what? I was, I was thinking about this earlier. And I was thinking, yeah, that's easy to say, but, you know, we just kind of set up good positions and the Russian armour just kind of drove headfirst into them and fed us men and material. And I was thinking, how unrealistic is that? And then thought to myself, well, actually, current events may uh, may speak somewhat differently. But there you go. But no, uh, so what do we have left? So that was it. We just did have the one by the church. We did have what was left of a squad of men. Oh, dear. And, well, an RPG team is a bit of a strong word. So how did we get on? Uh, let's start. I want to see where's our commander. Commander, this one, I think. Yes. Oh no, this is our HQ, sorry. So he had, he got, wow, five tanks. That was mainly in his little position down at the start. That's a, a very healthy rate of turn there. 15 enemy casualties. Then his second in command, it got himself, by himself two more tanks. So that's not bad. The command unit showing, leading the way, showing how it's done. And out on this side, we got, uh, so one tank from him. 44 casualties from this um, Abrams here. Two BM, four BMPs, two tanks, three sorry, three tanks and four BMPs, and I'm guessing a lot of those casualties were of full BMPs getting taken out because we did not see a lot of infantry on their own. These guys did a, little, a few bits and pieces, and I don't think you guys did anything, but that's okay. Not a problem if you are not needed. Likewise, my infantry didn't really do much. Uh, they had a go with some of the javelins, but it wasn't to be. But it was just, this was a, the Abrams showing its power on the battlefield, really. Uh, okay, he has been immobilized. It's not like the strikes have done nothing. But it's slightly underwhelming. Okay, there we have it. We're going to wrap things up there. Uh, it was enjoyable. Uh, I'll have to maybe have another go of some of these scenarios uh, as the Russians. Um, because at the minute, or... or play it without the tank support, because the uh, must make us feel, it almost feels overpowered using Abrams, especially against the AI, which is maybe slightly weaker and not, whereas people might be aware of how uh, important a piece of kit it is. Anyway, as ever, do leave your thoughts, comments, etc. down below. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio for now.